Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP EliteBook 850G5. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. After removing all the screws seen here, you're going to take a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it'll scratch your case less than a metal one will. We're going to go across the seam all the way around and pry the bottom case off from the rest of the computer. Now it's generally best to start in the back near one of the two corners. Don't go too far in with the pry tool. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Go slow but firm. And if you get stuck going in one direction, just leave it. Start on the other side and go the other way. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything when you're working on your computer. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, there will be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the tools and supplies that I use in my shop, and I will also include in that list all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer, the 850G5. Now before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Now here's your battery, right down here. This battery has four screws. Each one will have a little white arrow or triangle next to the M2.5 notation. So you have the one here, 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 and here. And the battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, this goes for any cables or wires in a computer. Try not to pull on the actual wires if at all possible. If you can, just manipulate the plug. And this is a nice plug. It's got a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that out of that port without having to pull on that wire too much. So here, towards the left side of my screen, you have your single storage drive right there. It's an M.2 solid state drive port. These are the larger solid state drives, the 2280s, uh, PCIe, NVMe drives, M.2, as mentioned before, and this takes Gen 4 solid state drives. I will have all the solid state drive information below in the description if you need it, but I will include a couple different replacement and upgrade options below in the description in that link I told you about with the replacement parts for the G5. I will include a one terabyte solid state drive and a two terabyte solid state drive if you really want to upgrade. The way these operate, they're very simple. You have a single screw right here on this end. You take that screw out and then you can easily slide this out of this port here on the right. And then to put it back in, you just place it in there make sure it's nice and flush and even. And then you screw it down, not too hard. You don't want to damage it, uh, but just enough to secure it in place. And I guess the last thing to mention about this kind of operation if you are replacing your drive in a computer, you're probably going to need to install an operating system to it when you're done. If you would like help with that, I will have two video links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10 onto an HP. The other will show you how to install Windows 11. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside an 850G5 and access your storage. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.